Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired a high-level meeting on the Ukraine situation after an Indian student was killed in Kharkiv shelling. This is the fourth such meeting held by the PM in the last two days. Today, the Ministry of External Affairs said that an Indian student was killed in shelling in Ukraine's Kharkiv region in the morning. Indian student Naveen, who hailed from Haveri in Karnataka, was killed in Russian shelling in Ukraine's Kharkiv. Prime Minister Narendra Modi spoke to Naveen's family and offered condolences. Netflix has said that it will not air any Russian channels in Russia. By not airing Russian state channels, which are mainly propaganda-driven, Netflix has refused to comply with Russian laws. As per the Russian laws, the streaming giant is required to carry several state-run broadcasters in the country. As per the new Russian law, Netflix is required to carry 20 Russian broadcast channels, including the state-run Channel 1. Apart from Netflix, the streaming giants with 100,000 subscribers are required to distribute 20 free-to-air news, sports and entertainment channels. Today, a senior government official said that the Delhi government has given its approval to withdraw 17 cases, including one involving the violence on Republic Day last year registered in Delhi during the anti-farm law protests. He said that the file related to the cases was sent by Lieutenant Governor Anil Baijal's office to Delhi Home Minister Satyendra Jain on January 31st. It was approved by Jain and sent to the Chief Minister's office on February 25th. The officer said that the CMO sent the file to the LG office on February 28th and the LG approved it on the same day. The Bombay High Court will tomorrow hear the petition filed by Maharashtra Minister Nawab Malik, who was arrested last week seeking quashing of the case registered against him by the Enforcement Directorate, which is probing money laundering linked to fugitive underworld Don Daud Ibrahim. Malik, who is currently in the ED's custody till March 3rd, had on Monday filed a petition in the HC, claiming his arrest was illegal and sought immediate release.